out we're gonna be seeing the warrior versus the Roy, of course and here we go we're about to start this match and i believe they chose a uh, battlefield no oh no my mistake i was debated we're gonna be playing in a smash bill right now we don't have our dear friend kk writer you know uh it's sunday and it's not going to be showing up until next uh saturday was it right <laughs> yeah it was it was saturday however and is he hasn't getting any entrance but you gotta be careful one entrance got 31 percentage it was like all right do whatever you want but i can do the same in even less man okay i i feel like like Amy's attempting to 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 bait off a uh, of the day of swing, but instead he is punishing too hard. And you know, I I've, I've seen swing for for a long time. I I know the playstyle that he's having a strong a strong aggressive gameplay. So attempting to to bait swing in in that manner is not the most optimal game for for M man that was a wow. really close one for 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 once i thought that that M was about to to get into the stage but no that's not going to happen today and look at that how Swain is going into that one i mean any any strong hit take can take Swain but the the weight of Roy is saving him from a lot of, of warrior punishes. However, that that those bases I would mention before were are working a lot. And after a, a long a, almost two minutes on the game, M gets the first stock. Yeah, definitely that upper putting in the extra Mybelling able to take out Swain's first stock. And, and yeah, and just returning back to the previous interaction where uh, M, this air dash, if that would have been an American air dash, he was pretty much done for. But nice decision making by M Spar, just neutral air dodging, uh, returning back to the ledge. Oh, and the miss wop. But what doesn't miss is swaying with those sweet conversions, you know, the bread and butters from Roy. That old reliable jab to Bakker is going to close out M second stock already at 24%. Swain is just applying so much pressure at the leg. The up B that's not going to connect the sweet down tilts, the switch for down tilts, which are going to connect to that downer falling off from that platform, just trying to rig up so more damage. But the pressure that M is applying right now has been working out quite well already, putting uh, Swain at 66%. But the pressure over here by Swain, but he is definitely going to make it. But remember that Wario has uh, a pretty, pretty nice recovery, especially when he have this motorcycle uh, with him. So already 123%. We don't have a WAF on deck just yet. Amazing read, but M just positioning himself correctly. He wanted, he wanted that hit. He wanted definitely that F tilt to connect in order to close out Swain's second stack and put up once again the score. Well, to it back to one stock a piece, and we're back to it. And the WAF is low but steady charging, so so he needs to be really careful right now. Yeah, I okay. I saw like M is shining now, and it means danger. Will he take the WAF? Nope. However, the damage that he's gathering is pretty strong, and Swain, even with the with the Royce kill, with the Royce knockback, it hasn't been able to reach the stock. You know, this situation has turned really opposite, but uh, somehow or another, M, way, M wastes its its WAP, and there we go. Swain gets the first game of this. Oh, this is a tricky set for both of them because, as I say, M likes to play a lot with, with his opponent's mind. Yeah, it could have definitely went uh, either way, especially when we saw the, the, the little blinking from the WAF once again charging from Wario's part. So uh, things would have about to get, uh, to get really tricky in that situation about Swain manages to close it out and just putting up the score 1-0 in his favor and we're gonna be playing back again in Smashville if I'm not mistaken we're gonna be seeing once again the Warrior uh, versus the Roy uh, it, it worked really well I mean both of these players played amazingly uh, at the end of the situation there at the end of the match uh, M started to adopt really well just um, I mean just, just managing to survive 
until the 180 something, if I remember correctly. But Array Swain is starting pretty much really aggressive with that down throw to the nair and the double fairy catching up that DIM bot. Nice recovery from Swain just uh, from M. I'm sorry, just recovering back to the center of the stage. But he is being he's being punished quite hard right now. Swain is not letting him breathe, but. The F match that's not going to get the correct hitbox from that. He's going to get the spoon hitbox, which is no as strong at all. And he only gets a soft punish the sweet conversion with that up till which is going to lead to a mistake up in the platform wave. He would have had waft in that interaction. That would have been probably much it for the stack from Swain's part. Already 129% M is trying to recover the stage control and Oh my god, he almost he almost got it in that interaction and he's really careful but amazing uh be and the punish by Swain is going to close out and first stock. Alright, he will have a fact that may affect the results of this um the, of this game. However, even with all the pressure that Swain is putting on 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 M, I feel like he is not getting the sweet spot in any time that he is attempting to get any any important chase. But as I was saying, uh, placing the the sour spot all the time may lead into into a disadvantage stay for you, even if you're still playing aggressive as, as Swing does. But man, for now, this situation has turned even once again for both of them. But as I said. M and its mind game are pretty strong, and Swain is not managing to get strong hits. You know, always, when you feel like uh, the the Roy Sword sort of seals, you may feel like, oh, he's gonna get me in a really low percent. But man, this time that sword is not working um, as as intended. Almost every time that Swain gets a hit, he gets the sour spot and M having a consistent a consistent hitbox. Well, it's playing a lot of a lot against Swain. All that advantage that Swain is having is drained by the earth. Okay, and as I was saying, that situation has turned over for, for Swain. Okay, and now a danger situation may come for Swain because the the waft is fully charged. It's fully charged, and you, guy, I don't need to tell you, you know what's going to happen. Yeah, most definitely, we know what I'm is looking for right now. Oh my God, that was a pretty dangerous situation for Swain to be at, but they managed to just recover the neutral stage already. One hundred thirty-seven percent. I'm is trying to re re retreat to the center of the stage and just wants to make the most out of this stock because amidst what uh, and, and especially if he loses his stocks right now which he is not going to amazing the eye uh it, it could mean a really turn of tables in this interaction he's just saving up that laugh so so much and just just holding on to that Wow, holding, I was about to say holding on to that stock and the waff wasn't even needed in that situation. He manages to close it out with an up smash. Yeah, as I was saying, the only sin that that Swain committed is to not get the the the, the, the sweet spot. Almost every time he was struggling to get important situations or important kills because he wasn't hitting the right way. Look at that. It, it turned against him and Ems was like, okay, he's not hitting me as he actually does. All right. I can hit him harder and without the need of, of my sweet spot. So now, going on, on to, into the game three, I feel like Swain may get a bit closer because... I feel like that Roy was actually a, a Marth for some reason. Yeah, especially with how uh, well spaced uh, Swain was playing in some situations uh, and, and actually taking the most out of those uh, sword hitbox coming off from his aerials, you know, which uh, even if they don't deal that much damage, it can definitely be, uh, it can definitely lead to a combo stream as we're seeing right now the combo stream from M's part with that sweet over and already at 90% putting up swing in an uncomfortable position. You know, whenever Wario has 
and especially if he has the WAP, as we saw in the last set, it can get so so tricky to play against him, you know, because you're in a mental state where you you have the WAP in the back of your mind, and you're not able to focus real, real well against what you're facing in front of your face, and already at 118%, this can get really dangerous, the overaggression by Swain gets punished with that after in all of his face. Oh no, as I said, looks like Swain figured it out a bit late, but now playing playing that way, you he can get some he can he can get the kill. But now that you were mentioning the fact that having the waft is a is a is a situa important situation for Wario, it sometimes doesn't need to be get the waft. Only having it may place fear into your opponent because you know I don't know if he's gonna land it or not. 84% against 130, and Swain is still not hitting as he needs to do. All right, he will have any any late read, but nah, he didn't do anything. Man, Swain, as most aggressive as he wants to place, he is still not hitting with the sweet spot, and he's not play. He's playing to, into the distance. For for our for a Roy player, um, it is it is something useless. You cannot get any stock if you take if you still hitting with with a sour spot. No matter how how the the character can hit, if you don't hit it correctly, you can also mid get punished. Okay, here we have the waft. Watch it, no. Oh. That, uh, I feel like that was a barely three stock. However, he didn't got it, but the waft is still on a hard rough play for Swain. Yeah, exactly. And right now, Swain is kind of a bit of a right now. He just wants to keep his mental state really, really fresh. He doesn't want to overextend and overcommit in this kind of situation, especially because you know Wario has the waft on deck and you're already at 45 percent which means a hit a miss space aerial or an overextending from you will mean pretty much your stock so he needs to be really careful right now 18 percent m is just applying so much pressure without retreating back or just throwing up to damage your shell to poke out your shell nice conversion from swain he wanted that read so bad but uh, he just wasn't aware that M was gonna land in that platform. Amazing recovery from Swain just being able to return to the stage. But uh, M is just punishing so, so hard right now that he is almost at 120% already. So it, it doesn't matter which option he chooses M right now. The psychological pressure that he's applying, especially with the, the weapon deck, as we saw, just puts you in a mental state. That that can make it really difficult to play against Wario, and we saw it over there. That there was there was a rock paper scissors situation because if you rolled, you were gonna caught with that with the waff. But the immediate response with that dash attack was the answer to the the, the pressure that M the, the swing was was feeling right now. There, there. Oh my, I. I feel like for some reason Swain was respecting Wario too much when he actually rushes his opponents and prevents him to do any other chase or even trading with him. But but for now I feel a a Swain a, a really soft Swain. I haven't seen this one in a long time. But now on to a smaller stage. I believe that that Wario has to be running almost all the time. All right. Now we're about to see a, a mind game play because I've seen a, a, a really slow Swain. He's like, oh no, I must not have to, to, to rush him as much as I was doing because I'm falling for any punish that he's placing on me. But now, look at that. Uh, now that he is uh, reducing a considerably way its, its play speed, I'm... I'm glad to say that he's working a lot better than he was doing on now. Oh no, that was the tech and Swain wasn't able to chase him. Okay, that was also a barely one. But man, now, 
now both players have noticed what uh, what is happening, but for some reason, M is still playing its game. It's like I'm not gonna change my playstyle by you, so so get adapted to myself, man. Um, that is working for him. Oh no, take situation for Swain, and he got busted. He's went down on the score again. Again, uh, he's uh, quite in a bit of a disadvantage, and this could have been a stock, but uh, yeah, I guess the WAF just wasn't uh, ready enough in order to punish uh, Swain's DI in that interaction war already 144%. You know, you need to be really careful around a warrior with rage and a WAF, and he's just applied so much pressure, he has been mm. responding so well to Swain's recovery option and the immediate reaction with that it wasn't even the fully charged swap but it was able to close out swain's second stock M just working with a solid three stock lead right now applying so much pressure up in the air putting swain at 46 percent he was just one let swain land and he manages to close us out and first stuck, but he's working with a one stuck deficit. So he needs to put in the extra mile if he wants to play a game number four and put the game number five on the table evenly. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but remember, guys, in comeback we trust. 86 and 25% on on the table, and Swain is losing. Uh, a bit much into into M's gameplay. You know, I like how how M is actually managing to get all those all those reads on all those baiting, but uh, somehow Swain, even with the with that low start that he had, is not getting too much. However, now I don't feel like he's hitting a lot better using the the sweet spot, but now that is causing me a lot of job. He knows that. He needs to be as close as he can, but but I don't know why he's not playing that much within the within a closer game. All right, here comes an important situation for Swain. I believe that even with that rage, he may get something, but he must to be really careful on what option he's about to take because a blow from Wario and you're done. 152% it is a lot of damage he got the bite may he get the stock he got the game yeah. and M oh, eliminates Swain from people smashed in top 32 yeah and I can hear actually a bit of a round of applause back into the public because that was a really really intense set over there and I'm not really sure uh, if we're going to be having a switch up from commentary right now, or do we have another match before the switch? Um, maybe, maybe yes, or maybe not. But um, but let's just play, let's wait for our, for our instruction from the stream master. However, yeah, yeah, definitely, even definitely. even if it's our last uh, our last set uh, our last game commanded, I like to say, guys, that I'm glad that you can hear me once again on the microphone and it was an honor to be again here with you at Viva La Smash I gotta say I like all the environment we're having here all the crowd all the players